a report, not a report, a prediction from Field Yates, I should say, um, that Marcus Mariota will be the starter next year in New England. Field Yates did a a, um, a article with a predicting all 32 starters in the league. And he had Marcus Mariota going to the Patriots. And he said it was unlikely, but still an option that Cam Newton resigns with New England and field is really, really tapped into the Patriots. So I I trust a lot of his reporting in that sense, but we've talked about Mariota a bunch. I'm all for Mariota. I know you're not, you're a little bit more lukewarm than me, but this is, I think, is a really serious discussion that the Patriots internally have to be having of whether or not they're interested in Mariota because the Raiders are $18 million over the cap right now and they're going to have to cut salary. Paying a backup quarterback $11 million is not a luxury you have in a cap strapped year, right? That That's a luxury you have when you have or flush with cap space. So the Raiders do have to make a move with Marcus Mariota if they're going to keep Derek Carr as their starter. Yeah, sure. And again, if like you're getting what's the price for Mariota? Like if you can get him for a day three pick, fine, whatever. I can't get excited about him. I don't think you you go in if you go into camp and Marcus Mariota is your unquestioned starter, that's a little gross. That is, that is, that's the reality of it. He's a backup for a reason. He's one of the better backups in the league, but he's a backup for a reason. We haven't seen him play at a high level consistently in a long time. I just, at that route, you know, give me, again, the upside, I'm looking at upside, and the upside there is with the rookies. It just is. And you can do both. You can have Mariota and Mac Jones. You can have Mariota and, and Trey Lance, but it just feels like with all the reports we're getting that the, the Patriots, like Mariota is going to be the last quarterback to be dealt. Right. He's probably going to be the last one to go. So last year, the Patriots grabbed the absolute last quarterback, right? Of the 32 primary starting quarterbacks, none of them signed later than Cam Newton. And now again, you're going to grab the last quarterback. And that's not, you know, I I get, you know, people will say it's value. It's not. You're just, you're losing. You're getting the last guy. You're going last. Well, I don't know. You're getting who's left. I don't know if Mariota will necessarily be the last one, last domino to fall because the Raiders are set at quarterback with Derek Carr. I would say a team like San Francisco trading Jimmy G during draft weekend might be more likely because they're not in a position right now. Unless is Tom Garoppolo Lockett, you know, to make that like I, is, is a team outside of the Patriots? Is any team acquiring Garoppolo to be a starter? I, I right now probably not because a lot of teams are actually it, it might be a rookie that they have in that position, but a lot of teams are feeling good about their starters right now. Right. So that's what I'm saying. The Patriots aren't in that spot where you know they have a guy who they think could be the starter, and you're going like if you're getting Mariota's an insurance plan, like he's a great insurance plan, essentially what he was for the Raiders last year, but. I, there's nobody else there. Again, you're the last team picking your starting quarterback. You're the third. I mean, outside of the teams for the draft, but that's, you know, the Jets, they know, they don't know who their guy is, but they know they're getting a guy. They know they're getting a real guy, right? You're the last team essentially picking your starter. You're, 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 you're 30 seconds, your last hand on the bat. So here's my thought on Mariota. I've always been pro Mariota and I'm going to continue to be pro Mariota. 2019 Pro Football Focus graded him out as the 12 12 out of 35 in terms of accuracy, right? This is a quarterback that threw with generally good accuracy throughout his career in Tennessee, threw really well in between the numbers as well, good anticipation, ball placement, uh, timing, things like that between the numbers. And then on top of that, he still brings the running quarterback element that Cam Newton brought to the offense last year to some degree. So what you have with Marcus Mariota, in my eyes, is a more consistent passing Cam Newton, right? A guy that can still move, that can still run design quarterback runs, read option, uh, QB type of runs down by the goal line if you want to do that sort of thing. But he is going to be a much more efficient and accurate passer down the field. In 2019, he was one of the best deep ball passers in the NFL. I I think that surprises a lot of people when they hear that. But in terms of the charting, that's exactly where we were at with Mark. But again, what, what year was that? 2019, but that was the last full year of him as a starter. When was the last time? Uh, Carson sorry, Wentz I thought you said 2017. Yeah, there you go. Carson Wentz was the 2017 is what we're all hanging our hat on with him. So I think it's only fair to look at Marcus Mariota and say, hey, it was only two years ago where this guy was a viable NFL starting quarterback. He can move around a little bit. He's got the athleticism. He certainly has. I understand what you're saying, that what we've seen of Marcus Mariota so far is a limited upside, but he was the number two overall pick in a draft at one point, right? So he's got a ton of talent. 
Right. But I just natural talent for the position for sure. What is what what is the what is the best case? What is the upside with Marcus Mariota with the, the state this state this roster is have, in? The upside is that you have an athletic player at the quarterback position. Okay, no, no, no. I, I I get that, but I'm saying so like how many games can you really win with Marcus Mariota? Nine? Nine you're nine right back. You're, you're right back. I don't think he's he's not any more than two wins max different than Cam he's, Newton. I think he's Cam better, but I, I don't think is any more than two wins better. Just if you put Marcus Mariota on the team last year, it's probably the same product, right? But if you get Marcus Mar- Mariota some help, I, I think the biggest thing is is that I'm, but you need to but you need to get him the help, and none of this is yeah. guaranteed. And I think there's a real chance if you bring in Marcus Mariota, you're seven and nine, eight and eight again, missing the playoffs, and you're right back here, except now you have ten million dollars tied up in this guy. I so, just don't I, I think you're I, going I don't in think circles. You'd be right back with there because I, this is a great point that, that we just put up on the screen about the system in Tennessee. They went into with Marcus Mariota thinking that they were going to be Oregon, right? They are going to spread the field, run a lot of shotgun, use his legs. And then Arthur Smith and the Tennessee coaching staff kind of decided that we wanted to go more under center, more play action and really amplify Derrick Henry as the best player in the offense. And that wasn't fitting Marcus Mariota's style. So I, in a lot of ways, I don't even know if Marcus Mariota was ever bad enough to lose his job or if they just kind of went in a different philosophical direction with the way that they were going to run the offense in Tennessee. And ultimately, I think that that whole example is a great example of Ryan Tannehill was the eighth overall pick in his draft. It didn't work out in Miami. They tried it for an extended period of time in Miami. He went beyond his rookie contract there. He finally moves on to Tennessee and he fits, gets into a great system fit. Now the last two years, statistically Ryan Tannehill has been a top 10 passer in the NFL and they've made the playoffs back to back years. They went to an AFC championship game with Ryan Tannehill as their starting quarterback. So when I look at these things, I, I just look at, okay, what what's the biggest what's can we what are the different types of situations that we can get into you can draft a quarterback you can sign a quarterback or you can try to get that guy that didn't work out with his original team but was a top 10 pick the the mariotas the trubiskis the Jameis winstons who's the one that you want to save right or carson right, right. i guess i guess again is the one you want to save I guess again well wentz was the one i wanted to save, but he's no longer an option right. I, I i guess again my point is i don't I don't want any of those guys. It's not Mariota specifically. I just think with all of those guys, there's a reason that they are available. And it mostly has to do with ability. It does. Now, I think that with can... Mariota was confidence. Mariota lost his confidence in the pocket. And that's a, that is a scary thing to me. Because right. a lot of guys lot never recover from that. The Raiders. that. That's for sure. I, I, a lot of guys never recover from the confidence thing. Again, what do I want to do? I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to rescue somebody. OK, I don't want to be the guy that, that's taking a girl to prom just because her boyfriend just dumped her. And I thought I had an easy shot because you're going to have a bad night. She's going to puke in your car. That's what's going to happen. Not that that ever happened to me. But that sounded my, like- my, my point being, like, you don't cheap out. You don't bargain at this position specifically. You don't. You either go all in on the risk Tell that or you Bill pay the, the, the true, true premium on the sure thing. I feel like Marcus Mariota is you're just hedging your bets and you're fine being okay. You're fine with if, if you're signing Marcus Mariota, you're saying we're fine with our quarterback being just okay. You don't have the roster for that and you're not in the division for that.